Yeah. Okay. So please, everyone, welcome again, Raphael. Thank you, everyone. Uh, okay. First, I would like to start with a thank you for the for the for this wonderful event. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here, and uh, I learned a lot. So thanks to the to the organiza organizer, and it was a really real pleasure to to be with you and to talk with you and to hear you hear about your project. So thanks, thanks a lot. My talk is called uh, "Floating Swarm." The big title is uh, "Art in the Interstices of Networks at, at a Time of uh, Fragile Attentions." So, um, a, a little bit of background. I hope you can see the the mo wonderful background I put. It. So, a little bit of background. Um, when I was in design school, I learned about um, MySpace, and I quickly created an account on, this, on MySpace. And uh, so, uh, maybe you guys can remember if you have, if you are old enough, this uh, bio box, uh, form box that you can that you can fill with your actual biography or or HTML and CSS code to inject violently in your profile page a, a couple of changes like uh, adding or removing element, graphical elements in order to build your own uh, graphic identity to, for, for other users. So I was really into that and I experimented a lot of, and I was fascinated uh, with what people made uh, this time. So I'm going to show um, a quick um, scroll uh, of uh, an archive I made uh, out of uh, my personal uh, page. So it's a little piece of history uh, I have on my uh, hard drive, and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's really creative, and people used a lot of um, um, images they built for this purpose, only for posting on walls and, and to, um, to affirm the, the identity of our personal um, let's say, personal publicity. And uh, this was full of uh, in, uh, gigantic images uh, and typography, HTML collage, and form art, and other crazy stuff, such as, uh, anime, of course, animated GIFs. And uh, as this one, uh, repetition, and patterns, and amazing experiments like that. Uh, so this, were, this, this created, of course, an, uh, really heavy pages to load, but that that was part of the game as well and everybody were artists at the time so the question uh, am i an artist uh, am i able to post on the, in this in this place or not was not a real question it was not uh, because because identity itself was super blur and we don't really we did not really know at the time who was who and that was super exciting uh, okay um, missing pictures are a part of the part of the ID now as well. So back to my presentation. This is um, so after the discovering of, of MySpace, I quickly um, uh, learned about a niche in net art called the Surf Club or Surfing Club, which were at the time, which are uh, nowadays as well. Um, uh, collaborative blogs made for and by artists. So it's a li little bit like an um, artist run space, but online. And this was amazing, and this is still amazing, uh, how people experimented the post uh, format, because the, the creations were at the post format. So this is a um, timeline made uh, in 2016. 16 by Paul Slocum, posted on uh, rhythm.org. By the way, you can find back my presentation online. You will have the URL and the links and stuff. So. And uh, the upper part here shows the, um, the main surf club. There is not, there aren't, there is not, there isn't a uh, few of them, but uh, they are really different and really interesting. I would like to show you quickly uh, one of my favorites, which is uh, Spirit Surfers, made by um, Kevin Open by Kevin Berosdorf. So this kind of uh, blog 
it's a word, basic WordPress uh, with many uh, users, and uh, this, has, this kind of blog post are um, found material and reinterpreted and, and hijacked, hijacked by uh, artists. So this particular project is really interesting, I mean, Spirit uh, for, for two reasons. The first one is the content and the way the blog itself is designed. Uh, so the identity of the, the, the contributor is uh, really complex and it's, it's like a, a scheme, uh, a puzzle to, to, um, to play with. And also, the, most of the time, sometimes, uh, less and less now, uh, the posts are uh, split between the boon and the wake part. I will leave you a browse around those posts. Uh, the second reason uh, is uh, that Spirit Surfer is still active, so those posts are really recent. And uh, so, yeah, I really love this, this, uh, this, this website, and I suggest that you, you take a moment to understand it and to browse it. Uh, I mean, when, when I talk about a moment, it's maybe it's a, it's a bit of a rabbit hole, so take one or two hours to understand it. Okay, so those surf clubs, uh, I experimented it a lot by uh, um, taking part of it sometimes and making my own, which is now uh, in the process of, be of being uh, conserved. Like I, I want, I, I have to fix the broken WordPress that is not online anymore. So anyway, uh, it's really fragile uh, pieces of um, culture as everything on the internet, by the way, uh, in my opinion. And those uh, soft clubs are the, for me the perfect format to bring in class for, um, for students. So uh, those people are uh, the students, one of my students of uh, last uh, semester uh, in Parsons uh, in Paris, the Parsons School uh, of Paris. And I had um, a class called Web for Art, which was about net art and about uh, creative processes. And um, basically, I teach technically how to make web pages and how to think about it and how to have a conceptual approach to, to the, the code uh, and the content in general. The piece you can see on the screen is uh, by Olia Lialina. So I'm showing, I'm showing them this piece, which is, um, uh, as you can see maybe, which is a, um, a free browser's um, piece, it, like a triptych called Self Portrait. Uh, she made it uh, this year. Um, by the way, if you don't know the work of Oli Ali Ali and I really suggest so you to go on her website because uh, she's amazing. Um, and as you can see, this, uh, this project is uh, split uh, among um, the HTTP, uh, the Tor uh, network, and the DAT network that I will uh, uh, talk about uh, later. I'm not setting up the triptych, the triptych, the triptych on my um, computer because I want you to make it yourself. It's really fun to assemble this, uh, those uh, um, browser in order to, to have the animation. It, this is an anima animated piece. And yeah, this is just a tweet uh, mentioning also Ivan Ross that uh, showed uh, the same, the same um, piece to his uh, students as well. Um, lately, actually, um, Three days ago, I uh, met my new student at the Karlsruhe uh, University of Art and Design, where I am a uh, guest professor during six months. And um, I really want to work with them uh, on the same subject, uh, on the subject I will show you uh, in a couple of uh, minutes, seconds. Okay, so. Let's talk a bit about uh, that, or not, because you may already uh, know what it is about. So just the important thing to say about that is that um, I, I came to discover that 
by the wonderful project uh, Beaker Browser, and for that, I, uh, it makes the transition between the Matilda talk and mine. So this Beaker Browser is a browser based on uh, um, WebKit, I think. And uh, you can, yeah, it allows a lot of stuff, and it, it's, uh, it allows to publish and read and, and browse the that based uh, data. This piece is a piece called uh, Renaming the Web. I made uh, with the, uh, so I'm on the Beaker browser, and unfortunately I'm not connected to the network. But this piece is uh, actually showing the, um, the it, it shows its own nodes. It's a, it's a, it's a sorry, yeah. It's a drawing that shows its own node. So as you can see on the upper left, right side, uh, there is one node plus my myself, my uh, computer. So there is two nodes. And the, the um, spider here is uh, not happy because she, uh, her web is fucked up. So let's draw it again. We made uh, it's, this piece, this online piece is part of a larger uh, physical exhibition that we made with Louis Drull. I'm going to show quickly a video of it, documentation. So basically, this is a really small space in Paris, and there is uh, five computers running, uh, Raspberry, Pi, Raspberry Pi is running, and at the startup, uh, Beaker Browser is launched uh, directly. And this small networks, the, the small network uh, based on three uh, computer, five computers, sorry, uh, shows uh, it's uh, ref is reflected in the in this uh, in this drawing. So the, you can see that this dot just appeared because this this computer uh, just um, boots. The result is also in a sound piece because each computer is making a, a pattern of um, a, a beeps that uh, that were hard coded into the. And the sound piece is making a, like a, a, a proper a infinite a sound uh, um, cre creation, let's say. It's important to understand that the, the network is tested all the time, uh, uh, during all the, the exhibition, so computers are, um, are, are um, reboot, uh, rebooted, um, I mean, um, quite violently by two ways. Uh, the first way is a mechanical timer that shuts up the, the power of the computer. The second way is, uh, is a more, more often uh, randomly uh, generated um, timer on the, on the Raspberry Pi itself. So it allows to test the network and to kill the, net, the computer and to uh, make the drawing change actually. And sometimes you have just one node that, that is active with the spider with just one dot on her drawing. Uh, by the way, this video is on Peertube as well, so you will be able to, <coughs> sorry, to be able to, to watch it. I wanted to bring cards uh, here because it's uh, paper. Uh, drawings that you can um, take uh, at home, but I forgot about it, so do not hesitate to contact me in Paris so I can show uh, my studio and give you a card. Floating Swarm. Um, this is a project I want to talk about. Uh, so this is a DAT-based project um, that, that goes with the Beaker browser uh, for uh, that, that I began originally for my Parsons uh, students. Uh, so basically, it's in the it's like a, a surf club based on on that. Uh, for initially for students, but I quickly realized that it would be really interesting to mix students and uh, more experimented artists, just to 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 make a, a art platform more um, more mixed. Uh, so. What is interesting for st students with the DAT protocol is that they can uh, really quickly and really easily uh, make a folder on their computer to turn it into a 
public web peer to peer website. Uh, so that means no domain names to purchase, neither uh, server this space. So also there is a, a really nice um, behaviors that I really like personally is the, um, the archiving, the way. If you, are, if you are a node, if you are part of the no, uh, if you are sharing the information and if, if you begin to see the, the information you see, you are also uh, archiving the work and the, the, the process all the question of uh, uh, conservation of, of, and durability of a work is much more supported by um, um, a small uh, network of seeders and a uh, uh, person who, uh, on purpose or not, are seeding the work. And I find it really interesting. So the WordPress uh, uh, hacking uh, problem doesn't exist anymore. And then there is a fork option. It's literal, literally a fork button on Beaker Browser that allows to make a copy of what you are seeing. That is super interesting to, to, to discuss with the student and to experiment. Sorry, it was a... Wow, I was not expecting this. Uh, okay. Contemporary typography. Um, do you guys know what a web ring is? Or remember it? Yeah? Okay. So back in the 90s, uh, web rings was a way to link websites together by, uh, by uh, adding um, next and previous uh, navigation bar. And it was a, an inspiration for me uh, to, to build, to build a floating swarm. So basically, you have computers. Uh, not computers, but servers that uh, that are uh, linked together with a bar of navigation, and you can go next, 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 and having the same kind of uh, subject as a user. Uh, yeah. So I decided to take this ID, uh, original ID of uh, uh, on that uh, with Beaker Browser, and to to take the advantage of um, of the structure of the network to to make uh, the to keep the content on the computer of the user and the artists, and to add uh, first uh, a menu, and not just a previous and next button. And then uh, this, by uh, adding a script, or make people add a script to their to the page, to the JavaScript uh, script to their page, uh, allowing to have a common navigation bar. So this is really easy and really, um, uh, easy to, to understand when you are beginning to, uh, to, to code a, 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 um, a website or a web page. So those are the two URLs. So the first one is a, that URL, and the second one is a more easily to reach URL of uh, the Floating Swarm project. So let's go to visit it quickly. This is Floating Swarm on the Beaker browser. This is the home page. And um, there is a, a submission, a submission uh, list here. And uh, I will go through um, some of the work. So the, submi the submission is, uh, so as you can see, the, this top uh, navigation menu is uh, injected by the script hosted on my uh, computer. And uh, every composition uh, ask uh, like uh, um, putting this script in order to add this uh, this bar. So this is the first composition by A. Leo. That is a collage of uh, different uh, ex uh, code uh, experiments. That is slightly uh, interactive. So there is photography and uh, scripts uh, and um, other weird and adapted work. Overflown by, sorry, oh, it crashed. The good thing with Beaker is uh, that I can access this without any internet connection because I host the files just because I choose to, to seed it forever. 
So Overflown is a work by uh, Emily Krangel, Krangel uh, student at the Art Deco de Paris. So basically, this is a traveling uh, piece of video that she made uh, aboard of a, of a plane, I guess. And uh, she, so it, it, it goes on the right side of my page. So as a, as a viewer, I need to, to interact with this page to, in order to keep the, the video going um, visible. And she added slightly uh, slight uh, graphic elements that you can maybe see tr trying to track manually the, the vehicles on this video, and I find it uh, really, really nice. I'm going to try to be a bit quicker. This is a piece I, I made. Commit, fork, merge, yeah. <laughs> this is a collaboration with uh, my Oh, I don't see this one. What a shame. Oh, yeah, cool. This is a collaboration uh, with uh, Louise Drull. And uh, so this is a digitalized uh, uh, drawing showing a, a crowd. The piece is called Fool, which means crowd in French. And we just added a function of auto scroll because the, the, the drawing is looping. Um, Quickly, this is a low, uh, piece by Laurel Schutz. So she uh, she recorded in a, a concert, um, quite uh, pirately. Uh, I mean, a, a pirate way with her own device, and um, and then she she made this full screen player and. Um, yeah, we can hear the friction with this pocket, her pocket. Um, so she made this player, and the, the the yeah the player is made of these photographs in background, and just the bird that that's uh, mapped on the timeline, that that represents in the timeline. So it, it's a really beautiful uh, piece, I think. Okay, maybe uh, a last one. This is Elena Mars, uh, identity in three layers. So this is a really simple, technically simple piece uh, that is made of, uh, of photograph, photographs and, and, um, and um, textures and a bit of typography as well. And I found it really interesting because uh, so she was a student of mine and she, she, had, she uh, made this wonderful poetic work without, uh, I mean, it's her first web page. So it's really, really not about uh, technical difficulty, but more about sensibility, and um, I find it really interesting for that. Also, yeah, I'm I'm going to skip to the conclusion. To skip to the conclusion, sorry. Okay, so uh, this last work shows how much. Um, you have to in imagine that there is a process of, of putting online those files and understa understand what is that and what is bigger browser, of course, and what is not the web uh, that we use every day in comparison. So this is a really nice um, uh, educational tool, uh, in my opinion, for that reason, because you can compare, actually. Um, so the... Um, as, as a um, publication, art, art publication system, I think it's interesting to continue in a certain net art um, way to be not a market-related uh, um, place to make art and to experiment. And for that, the, those, those tools, alternative tools and networks uh, are really interesting and make sense in, in, this, uh, for, in this direction. Also, internet-based art are not the web-based art, so all the network that we can uh, imagine are place, potential places to experiment as artists, and so let's, let's bring that uh, networks in class and let's, let's try to, to get uh, critical together with the students. Also, a critical view of technology and publishing system in an economic context for students and artists. What I mean about that is that uh, there is no need of 
of money to make such um, such project, and there is a there is a whole um, landscape of uh, te techniques and technologies to 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 learn uh, to. And some questions: uh, Should the curational choices uh, be? Decentralized. I'm talking about soft floating swarm because, as you said in uh, one of my scheme, the script itself is centralized by me, and the choice itself is centralized by me. So I'm I'm questioning about. Uh, I mean, that's part of my uh, uh, current questions. So should I keep it like that, or should I build something to try to make a shared curational work, and how to explore the principle of that and Beaker browser? Uh, to make relevant works. So, does it make sense to make the same work I, sh I should have uh, posted on the traditional web on the DAT network? That's a question I leave open. And how to, how to just to, to come back to the previous uh, question, Beaker and DAT allows, as I said, many uh, stuff that uh, the normal web um, doesn't. So. That's super exciting for us as, as uh, artists. And then, how uh, those protocols can evolve by taking in consideration an experiment, experimental use of it. Uh, maybe the answer could be artists should uh, make pull requests to that uh, those those group who uh, build uh, those uh, those um, wonderful tools and uh, protocols. So that's my website. I'm on. Twitter and Mastodon, and you can also browse uh, yourself floating swarm here. And this is a pre the link of the presentation, so you can access it right now to have access to the. Thank you very much.